Today guys, we're going to be testing liquid molly valve clean. We're going to see can this remove carbon buildup and valve gunk on a throttle body injection engine. Also it'll work for port injection or direct injection, GDI. So we'll be testing that in a sprayer. And as you can see, we'll look at the directions, see how we're supposed to use this and the product claims before we get into it. Then we'll take a look at the intake valves on this engine and you guys are going to be surprised at just how much carbon buildup there was. So without further ado, controls intake valve deposits, cleans entire fuel system and intake manifold. Will not harm oxygen sensor or catalytic converters. Removes deposits on valves and combustion chamber of all gasoline powered engines. Prevents new deposits from forming. This improves compression values, reduces fuel consumption. Application, minimum fuel filling of 25 liters or seven gallons is requested for optimum performance using this product. Add contents to fuel every time you fill up. So contents will treat a max of 75 liters or 20 gallons of fuel. Well, you guys think this stuff's actually gonna work? And are you ready to go inside the engine? Make sure you guys drop a comment below. Let me know. You think this stuff's actually gonna work or is this all hype? Now here we have our borescope camera and I'm ready to dive inside this engine and see just how bad these valves really are. Alright guys, here we are with Liquid Molly. Now, after the great performance in the past video by Redline, I wanted to try this Liquid Molly formula and see just how well it performs. Now here we are at the first observable valve. I want to go ahead and move on to the second observable valve and show you what these guys look like before using the liquid molly. Alright, here we are at the second observable valve. And you can definitely tell there's a lot of work ahead for liquid molly. Well, can valve clean from liquid molly clean these intake valves? Let's move on to the third observable valve. This valve definitely has a lot of valve gunk, so let's go ahead and move on to the fourth observable valve. Can Liquid Molly handle the challenge? Well, make sure you guys drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. So let's go ahead and add this to our fuel tank so we can get this test started. Then we're gonna drive until this tank is completely empty. If you remember in the previous video, we tested Redline Complete Fuel System Cleaner. By the way, we've tested just about every fuel cleaner there is, spray cleaner or fuel treatments that you add to your gas tank. So any of those additives, you can check out in another video. Well guys, let's take her for a spin. Here we are, several thousand miles later. Now it's time to take our borescope camera and go back inside this engine. Do you think it actually worked or do you have your doubts? I know I definitely have my doubts. Well, let's not keep you guys waiting. Let's jump right into this. We're at the first observable valve after using the liquid molly. Let's go ahead, move on to the second observable valve. Well, what do you guys think? Has there been a reduction in carbon buildup? Has liquid molly valve clean actually cleaned these intake valves? Let's go ahead and move on to the next observable valve. The third observable valve. Well, what do you guys think? 
All right, let's go ahead, move on to the fourth observable valve. I can definitely see a reduction of carbon buildup, but did it really do that great of a job? As always, I want to thank you guys for watching Nate's Interactive Auto. Until next time, get ready to get wrenching for the next upcoming video.